what's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of Celebrity Junk. I mean, guys, Benzino just keeps digging a larger hole for himself. I mean, he was just caught crying over Althea. All right, his ex chick, May Mama, in Atlanta, as he was handcuffed and taken away by the police officers. Then exposed by a transgendered, quote unquote, lady by the name of Shauna Brooks. You know, and that was terrible in itself. And when all hope is lost, you would just think that you would just shut up. Like if people are gonna believe that it's really you on the phone, which it was, just let it pass, okay? But Benzino cannot leave well enough alone, right? Um, so he's out here now threatening the same transgendered person that he had a, an alleged relationship with, okay? Now, this is what he said on his Twitter with his loud mouth ass, sad music. This person has crossed a dangerous line and I've already accepted at 56 years old, I will die now or go to jail for the rest of my stop the show put life there but he's um over my name reputation and legacy stop the show who cares bro like you're gonna go to jail or die over your legacy when people already don't like you and think you're a simp and think you're a crybaby and or think that you're gay like it doesn't matter like if you know that you're not gay why does your reputation matter to people it's not like you know, you were a killer or something like that, or you have a felony on your record, and are you getting accused of a heinous crime like shout to Trey Songs? That's not happening to you. You just got outed for, you know, having a recorded song, a recorded voice note with unknown transgender, and you knew it. And now you wanna you wanna kill the person. All right. Sad music. This weirdo MF -er is playing with y'all, not me. He, she still haven't said that we never met in person. Okay. So basically then the person, um, Shauna Brooks has also released, um, you know, some other stuff, which I won't, I want to do right now. And, you know, pictures of Benzino, you know, naked and flirting and all of these things. So let me, let me just say this. All right. Because, you know, Benzino, is, 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 is having a mental breakdown. Number one, here's what I figured out being on social media. People can say whatever they want to say about you. They can doctor things up, they can doctor clips up, they can do whatever they want, right? The reality is, is that you can't change how people feel. If you, even, even every big YouTuber, look, you know, there's, there's me, I mean, in the black sector, there's Kevin Samuels, there's media chores and reviews, the lead attorney, whoever else. People are gonna say whatever they wanna say about you. Some people are gonna call you all everything but a child again, a god. You mess with kids, you mess with animals, you, you have this disease, you, you're pimping, you're doing all kinds of stuff. But if you're 56, why does it matter? At the end of the day, I'm gonna tell you what people care about. Whatever you're doing in a particular industry, are you productive? That's it, all right? Do you keep producing whatever you do every day and are you good at it? Now, you're over here having these little sidebar conversations about what you're gonna do about your reputation. And this goes to show you with a lot of black men all we have is a reputation. Like there's so many black men in jail right now over a reputation. And Vizina's not gonna do shit, number one, all right? But number two is this. If you didn't wanna be ousted by a transgendered person, why are you on the phone with them? Okay? Same thing with this whole WAC 100 situation um, and Hassan Campbell. Whack 100 is saying something very similar. You know, um, I'm gonna get Hassan Campbell YouTube page uh, deleted because of, you know, he's releasing private conversations without my consent. And obviously, Whack 100 don't know anything about YouTube. 
you don't know how the platform works. And as simple as this, bro, if you didn't want that information to be out, why did you say it? Because there's always a risk when you're a high profile person in the industry that somebody is going to record you. All right, there's always that risk. Somebody's gonna record you, record what you say. Or somebody's gonna leak out a screenshot or a DM of what you say. People that you really don't know or that you don't trust, they're gonna do that. It's always, it's like, it, it can happen. So if you don't want anybody to know, well then don't say anything. You know, it's kind of like my mom used to always tell me. She was like, hey, if you don't ever want to get in trouble, one thing to do is to not be in trouble. Because if you're not doing things that are stupid, you can't get in trouble. You know what? 41 years of life and that information is still true today. All right. And they're making all these threats and I'm going to tell you what they're going to do. All right. Next thing you know, I'm going to tell you who's going to come for Benzino. The LGBT community. They're going to be the next people. You know, like, oh, you want to attack somebody in our community? Are you threatening somebody in my community? And that, and then you get canceled. Then you get kicked off Twitter, all your other platforms. Bro, if it's not true, just ignore it. If it is true, <laughs> just ignore it. Because you keep making it worse by responding to it. I've learned that, man. Like I, 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 I've had that issue before. You know, something happens and a rumor gets started. I figure like I need to clear my name or something like that. And the more you try to clear your name, the worse you make it out to be. And if you didn't do it, just don't say anything. People can think what they want to think. Like, for example, for so many years, y'all you know, was here. Um, I was in medical school. People used to make heinous allegations up about me. One of them was, you don't even attend medical school. You don't attend medical school. You've never been in medical school. You're a dropout. You're just a liar. So what was I supposed to do? I was supposed to go and get clarification and documents to show my my name my social security number the loans that i have so that i'm in medical school no because if i did that i'll tell you what would happen these idiots in black youtube at the time they would have called down to the school all right or tried to contact medical students so i kept i, I just stopped defending myself i just didn't say anything I just went ahead and finished and graduated. Didn't respond to any of those things. That was done. People say true, untrue things about people I know personally. Oh, that guy's an incel. Oh, that guy's lame. That guy can't do this. He's paying for women. He's doing this. You don't even know what you're talking about. Let them think whatever they want to think. Most people are that like talking that kind of stuff are, are poor anyway, so who cares? They're not doing anything, but Benzino cares because either it's true or all you have is a reputation that nobody cares about. People don't like you anyway, but guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Drunk. Hurry, but you follow that you do. Subscribe with the bell. Check out the first cut at the top. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at all time high. I'm out.